Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, usmlevideos.net. Please visit our website at uh, www.usmlevideos.net for more videos as you prepare for USMLE examination. Today, I want to give a few points about niacin. Niacin and its action, side effects, contraindications and its major uses. Let us see one by one. Now, niacin, the first and foremost thing you need to remember is it decreases the levels of VLDL, LDL and lipoprotein A and it increases the levels of HDL. Now, what is so unique about this drug? It is the only drug that decreases the levels of lipoprotein A. That is very, very important to remember. So, so many questions come on this aspect. It is the only medication that decreases the levels of lipoprotein A. That's why in heterozygous hypercholesterolemia, this drug is very useful. Now, basic chemistry. Niacin, that is vitamin B3, is converted in the body to the amide, which is incorporated to niacinamide adenine dinucleotide, that is NAD. And uh, mechanism of action. You see, we have HMG-CoA reductase inhibitors like statins. They act before the cholesterol is formed. Remember like this. Through their inhibition of HMG-CoA reductase, the statins, they prevent the formation of cholesterol. But niacin acts after formation of cholesterol. The cholesterol is transformed into VLDL. That is where niacin acts. It inhibits the formation of VLDL. And later, by inhibiting VLDL, it also inhibits the formation of LDL. So, that is the mechanism of action. Therapeutic uses and dosage. Now, in most patients, it is like a familial hypercholesterolemia. You need to use niacin with some kind of HMG-CoA reductase inhibitors like statins or erisin. And if you use in mixed lipidemia, it is very effective when you add omega-3 fatty acids. And as I mentioned earlier, it is the most effective agent for increasing HDL. It increases HDL level. That is very important to remember. And it is the only agent that decreases lipoprotein A. That is also very important to remember. Most patients with heterozygous familial hypercholesterolemia, they require 2 to 6 grams of niacin. And uh, now, let me talk about toxicity. Niacin causes vasodilation, cutaneous vasodilation and a sensation of vomit. That's why patients feel flushed. That's one thing you need to remember. What is the very common side effect of niacin? That is flushing. Patients complain of flushing. And the best way to treat flushing is to give some aspirin. Nowadays, many patients are on aspirin, like 81 or 325 milligrams for prevention of cardiovascular disease, for the prevention of cerebrovascular disease. So, in these patients who take aspirin and niacin, it's better to ask them to take aspirin like 30 minutes before they take niacin because aspirin, it actually blunts that prostaglandin-mediated flushing effect. Alternatively, Patient can also take ibuprofen. 
So those are the issues. Now it also causes pruritis, rashes, dry skin and mucous membranes. And the other thing guys you need to remember, in patients with diabetes mellitus, it might cause acanthosis nigricans. Acanthosis nigricans is associated with insulin resistance. So when a patient develops acanthosis nigricans while he is on niacin, it is important that you discontinue niacin because otherwise that patient would develop insulin resistance and the treatment for his uh, diabetes becomes ineffective. So those are the main points I wanted to share you tonight. Niacin, it inhibits the formation of VLDL and LDL. Thereby it decreases their concentration. It decreases the concentration of lipoprotein A. It increases the concentration of HDL. And it is the major side effect is flushing and vasodilation. That's why you need to tell them that they get flushing still that is harmless. You don't stop niacin because a patient complains of flushing. You simply tell them just to be patient and to take some aspirin or ibuprofen. And in combinations with uh, resins and hmg coa reductase inhibitors, this niacin is very, very useful in the treatment of familial hypercholesterolemia. Please post your comments and, uh, so that others can uh, read and learn. And uh, visit www.usmlevideos.net for hundreds of videos where you can watch important points. Just by spending a few minutes, imagine how much you can learn as you prepare for this important examination. Thank you. Good night.